Hello, hello audience, it is Aaron here. Today we are going to review the Acer W500 tablet, touchscreen tablet, like most tablets are. Let's see if I can just open this here. It's got a little latch on the front, right there. Flip it up, and it breaks apart into two pieces. There's little magnets here that connect to little magnets here, and that's what keeps it closed. So, pretty cool. It, the keyboard is actually detachable and you can dock it. So what I'm going to do here is, before I get too far into it, I'm going to hit the power button and we're going to boot it up while I am talking about it. So, it docks right into this keyboard and mouse setup. The only downfall with the tablet is that it is a little top heavy. If you are not on a straight flat surface, you will fall backwards. That is about it. That can be solved with pretty much a picture prop. You just put it behind, props up the tablet. Um, other than that, there's really nothing else I can complain about. On the dock, you get one USB, one Ethernet, and another USB on the other side, so you get two USB. On the dock, setup you have left and right mouse click you also have a mouse the old old style mouse but it keeps it nice and compact the keyboard is fully functional full size fairly decent dock I like it a lot actually and uh, for when you need a laptop and not a tablet it works perfect it bridges that gap really well this right here on the tablet I don't know why it's there to tell you it's on or or what but that button activates the start menu on Windows so I mean in my opinion fairly useless so when it boots up we're running Windows 7 Home Premium Windows 7 Home Premium it is the 32-bit version I have installed the 64-bit version of Ultimate on here as a trial and it does work this processor is a 64-bit so now I'm going to actually type in this password because I don't want to touch it on the screen. You all figure out my password. So, just let it load here, and then uh, we're going to do a quick test of something I've, I've set up as well. So, it's Windows 7, full-blown Windows 7, word processor, everything on this, on this guy, and it's really good. I think it's a really great setup. So, wireless N also so you get fast wireless um, we're going to head over to the internet real quick I'll show you some on-screen touching actually I'm going to do that right now so the touch is very precise I love Windows 7 touch um, very intuitive if you touch once and then touch again it will right click just like that so it's almost like a real right click. So anyways, I touch, uh, I'm looking at this through the camera viewfinder. <laughs> okay, so I touch there, I want to use the keyboard. I double touch there, keyboard pops up. We're just gonna search something. We're just gonna search something So, pretty easy, when you want the keyboard gone, you just exit, and then you can come up here, scroll down on the side, which is good. You can also use flick, which will flick it back, forward. See that? I can go forward and go back. Alright guys, so you have your webcam, front and back as well, so you can do conferencing. Headphone jack on the side volume power um, on the bottom there's actually two USB ports there's a USB port right here and then another one on the side so you can plug anything into that right now I actually just plugged in a wireless Logitech mouse just to do an example on the tablet in a second here there's a spot in the back for a GSM card um, if the W500 that you purchased uh, facilitates that so right now as a test, 
we're going to run portal I have fraps open on the bottom here and we're going to run portal 2 on this tablet just to give you an idea of how good it is so we got a frame rate of 60 60 to 70 So now we're really going to be taking advantage of that read factor on those, on that solid state drive it has. So, in menu we're looking at about 45 to 50, no, up to 60 frame. So we're going to go single player, new game, and I'm just going to jump right ahead here. Because I don't want to go through tutorials. Keep in mind guys that the graphics on this game are cranked right up the res is cranked right up so we are looking at the best possible graphics you can run on this tablet right now the loading is fairly quick for a tablet as well and the in-game is is fairly good it's gonna be a little bit harder to play this with one hand but I'm gonna try and so we're hitting at 20 frames a second here 25 20 so pretty good not bad for a freaking tablet, not bad at all. So, but yeah, so there it is the Acer W500 tablet running Portal 2 at around 25 frames per second. This sucker's got like six hours of battery life, just nuts. And we all want to know what this thing does. And for some reason, it is programmed to hit the start button. I'm sure somewhere in the background you can change that. But all right, you guys want to watch any more of my videos? There's probably links all over the place. Other than that, I think I'm gonna play some Portal 2. I will see you next time, guys. You have a good one. Don't forget to uh, add me to your favorites if you like it. And subscribe, possibly, if you feel like being nice or awesome. Nice or awesome. Sawsome. If you feel like being sawsome. Alright. I, I gotta get back to my game here.